we are going to watch tesla's full self driving beta 22 minute driving in 2.16 minutes uh, which is 11 times the speed uh, hallmark's cadillac who has always provided uh, reliable tesla information writes on his twitter saying i understand why elon musk always sounded so confident about autonomy now they have been holding their cards close to their chest there is a lot of work left to do but it's clear to me now that tesla has a winning hand here is tesla's autopilot full self-driving 20 minute a 22 minute drive with 11 times speed welcome back dear friends this is armin harayan from torquenews.com if you are here for the first time please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla story so first let's get started and watch this video I think this is a very interesting video because if you see it's providing first of all a real-time world map which Tesla has created. So let's talk about this video. Very interesting, very simple intersection, simple driving, very cool. This is a distinction from what is next, a map that crushes anything Apple and Google have. This is Tesla's real-time map of the world. So what I say next, friends, is a compilation of some comments which I've taken from Twitter and from uh, read it and see what people are generally thinking and uh, someone is asking maybe this is not a good question or, or already answered but if mud or something blocks a camera enough does the fsd not turn on and warn you that it can't see um, an even worse situation is if the sensor gets blocked during an autonomous drive not at the beginning of self-driving system must include a way to keep other sensors clean continuously which is a huge headache now does, does anyone know of you know guys what has tesla done for this um, someone says but apparently tesla hasn't done anything about this uh, this person on reddit says i don't know but someone says on twitter they have done no such thing they release a video of self-driving tesla taking a long drive after autonomous day last year they have been telling anyone who can be made to listen how close they are to solving autonomy for years so um, with all this excitement in place, 
we need to realize that um, you are going to need to wait quite some time before this full cell driving beta is available to the general public. I'm saying this because many people have been asking in social media when this will be more perfected and ready for um, general public and when will this be uh, available for a wider release now regarding the wide release by the end of this 2020 which roughly is two eight weeks um, one person on the reddit discussion said i really don't see how it can be in wide release in eight weeks they basically sent warnings to all the beta testers not to screw anything up i talked about that warning yesterday if it goes wide release you just need one uh, person to do something uh, uh, unwise and run over the pedestrian and it will be a nightmare for tesla this is why tesla is going to be extremely cautious with wide uh, release maybe by the end of the day tesla will release some more but tesla should give this to the general public once it knows it can rely 100 percent on the software not on the good behavior of the driver because you need just one stupid person to do something unwise and foolish and then you have a nightmare for tesla and for everyone um, uh, on the road uh, which whose safety may be compromised so far we know that very few beta testers uh, of the full self driving by tesla were selected to get this update Elon said in his in uh, that he uh, this won't roll out to the general fleet until it is safe enough like I said until you can 100% rely on the software not on human behavior now Elon Musk's original estimate was December that's what I mentioned above but it could be a while it could be more than December depends on how it all depends on how the tests will go and you can see in some of the other videos that we have shared yesterday and the day before it is quite a few disconnections which can be quite dangerous this is why tesla wisely um, always um, uh, select uh, stresses the safety on the road now another question for consideration is this how many people paid for full self-driving what do you think 100,000 people so far 250,000 people and of those who many how many agreed to be a beta testers for Tesla's full self-driving and do all those full self-driving uh, betas in the United States have it now uh, it's interesting to know to how many people Tesla has given the full self-driving um, if every beta tester who paid for full self-driving is included by Tesla in this uh, test program. It seems like that would be more than 50,000 people on the road now. But I agree, starting with a smaller number like 1,000 uh, people testing may be better and may be safer for Tesla. From what I understand, very few people have early access to uh, FSD beta by Tesla and only a few small percentage of those have the current FSD beta. Uh, beta and also these people have signed non-disclosure agreements and probably those uh, these are people who will not hold tesla responsible if something goes wrong with the fsd beta overall tesla has done an amazing work here i think with fsd the optimal route may not be the shortest path instead it may be the path the car has a high probability of handling it's good to have a video of uh, beta fsd in near ideal driving conditions well marked roads as you see in the video daytime overcast uh, weather no sharp shadows and glare it looks very promising for a beta anyway while it's a pretty simple road and simple driving conditions in the video it's still an achievement even if you can only do this on a narrow subject, uh, subset of simple roads, the value creation is huge. It will just keep improving. It's not all the way there yet, but it's hard to imagine it won't be there in uh, one or two years. For the rest of the world outside of the United States, I hope uh, roundabout support is coming soon. And some people say it's really a needed functionality. I don't know. I love my driving. Uh, however, I realized that one day uh, full self-driving cars uh, 
perfected version may be safer than human driving. What are your thoughts on this, friends? No wonder Elon Musk um, is and has been bullish about his robot taxi plan. Perfecting FSD, which is pretty impressive already, will be a very good recipe for Tesla's robot taxi. Exciting for Tesla. Uh, PE still scares me, but I would get some um, good chance going and uh, in um, uh, with uh, the future of uh, Tesla's full self-driving. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are, friends. In the meantime, this is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Look forward for my next report today, and it's coming after this. Peace be with all of you. See you soon.